Well, I was walking down the street the other day and uh, I came across a great big Jupiter Boys. And I said to that Jupiter Boys, I said, is it? Is it recording? Everybody, welcome to the Jupiter Boys. Uh, I didn't even really say hello there. I just said, head above everybody. Head above everybody. Um, my name's Jim Jupiter. My name's Kim Jupiter. What's going on? My name's Quinn Jupiter. Thank what you. is going on? That was, I'm, I'm the translator this episode. Um, I will be talking from now on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been very annoying. <laughs> it would have been very annoying, yes. Um, we're two boys. We're from the planet Jupiter. Each week we get together and we talk about things. Yeah. Um, How come it's in every, a fucking different location every single I week? I don't the know. coin we use to flip... To has a mind of its own. Yeah. All right. Which side of the? Which actually? Let me pick the side. I'll take the logo side. This okay. Week. I'm closing my eyes, so it's even more fair. Oh, it's, it's your Radiotopia. Side. Nice. So today I you got didn't. Fucked. You got boned by the topic coin. I got, I got bent over. I got sensually, you know, fucked. But it was like, <laughs> it was kind of like unexpected. Isn't it funny how like the word fucked is like just vulgar enough to be like. Even if you put centrally or like yeah. lovingly, although I guess lovingly, it lovingly softens it a little bit. But. Lovingly fucked, but yeah, it's just kind of too. It's too hard, you know. We gotta fuck, 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 oh, fuck. You can't, and you can't be like fuck, because that was like a Dane Cook joke. Do you remember Dane Cook? That was fun. Back the back in the two thousand five. Do you remember Dane Cook? Do you remember him? Remember him? Do you remember you him? You won't believe him now. Uh, <laughs> He you won't actually believe won't. what he looks like now. He's he's looking rough. So yeah, he's looking fine actually. He's looking like human. My topic today is very, 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 very loose because, uh, as you know, I didn't come with a topic. It's like the first week in maybe six weeks I haven't come with a topic. Okay. In, in, in it's one tra- it's one you know option in which you have more of a a foothold on the whole topic thing. Why? Than me, because oh, oh, it, yeah. lately it's been, I've had a topic and you've had to come up with one. Right. So it's, you know, the tables have turned, my friend. Right. I'm wearing your Nikes. Why'd you burn the logo off, by the way? <laughs> While you're still in them. <laughs> um, so my topic is Lord of the Rings. Uh, let's, let's make Lord of the Rings. Okay. Uh, like, let's make the Fellowship. Yeah. If they were in, like, modern day and, like, with modern personalities. So what I'm thinking is, okay. like, the... You know, the dwarves, stoners, all the way. You think? I See, think the I dwarves like, are... No, 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 sorry, like, dwarves? No. I dwarves like would be dwarves would be like plumbers. Yeah, like, dwarves, dwarves would be definitely... Would be like, like tradesmen, like laborers. Yeah, like construction, construction workers. workers and stuff. I was thinking about like, hobbits. Miners. Hobbits are definitely stoners. I think they are in, like, canon I in I mean, they love, that, they love that that hobbit weed or whatever it's called, like the, the ditch weed. Yeah. Um, it's actually, I, like, referenced in the book, right? Yeah, but I think it's just, like, a type of tobacco. Oh, boring yeah but i th- i think tolkien was tolkien was like a little yeah. bit into that dank dank stuff well you'd have to be to write the lord of the rings right yeah I mean, a like, little bit you know you had to have been like <laughs> so that they go to this fucking gigantic mountain <sighs> do keep going sir you're blowing all all over our minds <laughs> this is fucking mind-blowing <laughs> jrr what's your first name by the way who uh, the fuck is bombadil don't worry, don't worry about it. He'll come back later, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't mapped it out yet. I was thinking, like, hobbits would be kind of like... You know what's fucking batshit also? Is what? that he was just, like, sleep-deprived one day and wrote, in a hole in the ground lived a hobbit, and was just like, yep, I think I'll ba- base, like, 30,000 <laughs> words on this sentence. Like, a, a lot of it had to do with um, uh, a song I that he 30, came across. 30,000 words isn't very much. Yeah, he came across a song, like a, a song about this... Thing it's like an old medieval song about a place called Middle Earth, and mm. he he came up with like the whole world based on that song, mm. and it's actually a Chance the Rapper song uh, references it, like uses the same song structure in it, but not even knowing that it's the same song structure. Stephen Colbert has a video where he breaks it down. Anyways, um, I'm thinking like, what would Aragorn be like? What you know? Maybe he's like a daddy. He's daddy AF. You know? Maybe he's got oh, like yeah. a. Oh yeah, he's perfect. Like he's got the long hair, but it's in like either a man bun or oh, totally. it's just like perfectly styled. And y- you know that like pinned back, Aragorn would be like handcrafting his own furniture. Yes, out of like 
sustainably sourced like pine trees. Plus he's like donating like all of his money to charity and you're like, dude, you're making a lot of money for getting these for the, these and, like, like halflings to you know to Mordor. He's totally like like um he's like a, a from like rich money from like deep, yeah from exactly like old money but he doesn't, but he doesn't want to yeah, he doesn't yeah, use he, like, it he abandons he's that. way above he it leaves that life legolas see legolas is a little bit of like a rich bitch but he's like one of those rich bitches who's like no fuck you guys like come on give all your money i wonder to, if he'd be like i wonder if he'd be like bruce wayne because he's like a little rich i think bitch, so yeah but then like he's also just like badass as shit yeah I, legolas is like one of my favorite characters you know who legolas would be is mm. um Orlando Bloom, because yeah, it's, that's basically it's just him in real life. It's just like Orlando Bloom. Like I was just trying to like think of like who that would be. That I was like, oh, there is a person. It's Orlando and Bloom. It's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Boromir is like the dude who kind of sp- who spikes uh, the drink at a party with like MDMA because like he's like what? Okay, he wants to Explain everybody to yourself. have a good time. I don't you know? think I don't know if, but ultimately. He ends up shitty because, see, Boromir has a good heart, but the ring corrupted it. So what I'm thinking is that he yeah, he has a good before, he has at least a good, in the good movie, idea. Even yeah. before he was just like a little a little wiener. Yeah, he he kind of is. Um, and one does simply walk into Mordor, you dumbass, because they exactly did how they got there. They fucking did. It was pretty easy, other well, than um, the trials and the tribulations, multiple, the multiple things that tried to kill them. I think Sam Sam is like. You know he's on it. He's like on a, like the best diet, but well, he's and you know he's you know, not he, waste weight. Like he's not losing any weight. Well, he's but thick. he's he's thick. He's thick. He's got that thickness. He thick. Um, he he's got that thickness. He's he's big daddy thick. Frodo's a graphic artist, aspiring graphic artist, um, who just like wants to make it in the tech industry. And you're like, ah, but you don't have any technical skills. And like he, the thing is, like he's a, he's an aspiring graphic artist, and mm-hmm. his his uncle was. Um, like Steve had like Jobs. A, no, no. His <laughs> uncle had like a huge hit with like one book, yeah. but he was like a one hit wonder. Just like so yeah, they... he wrote the Hobbit, but then what has he done lately? <laughs> right. So yeah, and so yeah, that's that's true, eh? Yeah. So like, and like, he but just, he like, wrote like, half of the Hobbit too. Like he wrote the Hobbit and um, then went to retire in Florida with like all of <laughs> all of Legolas's boys. It's very true. Like it's like, come on, dude. We're still waiting for the other half. He's George R. R. Martining us. <laughs> <laughs> um, come back from Florida. What the fuck? What about um? What about like uh, Elrond? Oh, yeah. What about Elrond? See, yeah. I feel like businessman, Elrond... like a, yeah. a a like a businessman, but mm. like in charge of like I don't know what type of company. Whole Foods. Whole Foods. <laughs> Like the CEO of Whole Foods. He just st- stays young forever. <laughs> and, and there's He's a portion the of him somewhere aging. Um, I think like the elves in general, like what would the elves look like? Even like Rivendell. Like what all, is Rivendell? All hipsters. All just hipsters. Like, <laughs> just hipsters. Like every, like all the way down. Like just man buns and like Wayfarer frames. <laughs> Bone, just all the way down. Bony Vare is like playing on every <laughs> every speaker in, in Rivendell. Listen, we only play Bony Vare, Death Cab. And hey, Rosetta. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Although they're not really that hipster, they're no, going in the more mainstream stuff lately. It's true. Uh, Arcade Fire a lot too. A lot of Arcade Fire. <laughs> what about the orcs, punk rockers? Like, well, Nazis, like Nazi punk. Whoa! Rockers. Like you know, those skinhead punk. Skinhead, but punk rockers. Their punks used to beat the shit out of. Fun fact the 80s. though, like Tolkien, like he's like they're like the only people that tolkien describes as having like dark skin and mm-hmm. it's just like mm, super racist bro super racist yeah it's not great it's not, no, uh, it's not a good look so the fact that they like be like white supremacists is like sort of like you know ironic yeah it's very true but you know we got to improve on these characters because it was written like 80 years ago true by an old dude who who's would, probably pretty who racist would sauron be sauron I th- I feel like Sauron would be like Donald Trump, either Donald Trump or he'd be sort of like a like a a person in charge of like a big industry, but he's like just being found guilty of all this shit. Like he's being found guilty of like putting Harvey putting Wein- like he's Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's Harvey Weinstein. Plus he's like a CEO that like cuts taxes, like cuts like <laughs> funds. <laughs> Like to their coworkers, like paychecks. Oh, Quinn shit. tried to say something political. 
<laughs> it's not going to turn out well. He he's being found with like tax fraud, and okay. like they're like, w- w- show us the paycheck. Okay, Which what about kinda... um, what about uh, Mary and Pippin? Mary and Pippin, they're stoners. They have to be. They have to be stoners. They're the ones who play FIFA all the time. They sit on their couch, they play FIFA, and then when their boys need them, they get up and they help their boys. They get up, they move them from fucking... What about Gandalf? Gandalf? Gandalf is like the the grandfather you wish you had. He's Steve Jobs. Instead of the one who like says sometimes racist stuff and... Uh, so This is no, not our grandfather. He, he, is, he is Steve Jobs and like... Everybody thought he died, but he just came back as Steve Jobs the White. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Apple 78. It's still Apple. <laughs> we resurrected Jobs for this. Introducing the One Ring 2. It's still a One Ring. That's the end of the topic. It's like the One Ring, but two. <laughs> um, so, uh, thank you, Quinn. You're welcome. For that. No, thank you, because it was my, <laughs> it's my topic. Yeah, I know, but thank you for giving the topic. Well, thank you for playing with me in my in my brain space. You got it. Um, in my imagined, imaginatorium. I just want to put this out here right right off the bat, because I know what you're going to be thinking. Just and drop it. Drop the well, needle. Just I'm just going to put a little caveat out here. Mm, contrary, little caviar. Contrary to popular belief, mm-hmm. this is not a Jim's Naughty Bits. That was good. That one was good. Yeah, and it's also not a twenty eighteen topic, mm-hmm. okay. although it is in the spirit of these things. Okay, but okay, it's in the realm. I've recently discovered. <clears throat> um, it's a big announcement that I'm going to be making on the show. I've recently discovered uh, Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Okay, and everybody knows that the primary tenet. The thing that pretty much all Christianity is based on. Yes. The one message. If you were to distill the Bible into one message, it's that sex for any other reason besides procreation is a sin. It's mm-hmm. wrong, and you're going go to the de- go to the devil. Yes. So you're knocking on the devil's door with that nonsense. Knock, knock, knocking on devil's door. And he's it's like... The opposite And of... he's like, yes? There's nobody here. God damn it. They get me every week. <laughs> Fuck you, kids. Just because I'm evil and shit. Um... Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of sex that's happening. In the Bible? No, no, no. I mean, not just in the Bible, in, in life. Yeah. Um, that's not for the, the purposes of procreation. Mm-hmm. Okay? I've Frankly, participated in it a lot. Yeah, and you're a sinner and you're going to hell. And yeah. um, So have you, though. Yeah, but so you know what? I've accepted like... Jesus, so I'm saved and you suck and you go to hell. Um, that's all you have to do, eh? Yep. Just uh, accept that friend request, eh? Yeah, exactly. You literally just have to click friend and uh you're good but he's gonna send you add a friend. lot of emails add friend give him maybe like like a a, a poke every is a poke still a thing <laughs> can is, you poke people i don't still? know if you can still poke people i'm gonna try to poke you well you don't have a facebook <sighs> i so, sort of have a facebook yeah but i'm not gonna poke that facebook um so basically i want to find ways for us to make this so much less sinful mm, okay now so you talked about like well, I'm pitching. Here, here's an idea. Okay, mm-hmm. we have a plethora of masturbators. Yes. Okay, we have so many masturbators. That was my. That was my. That was my mind was going right to there. We also have this sort of crisis where porn isn't being paid for anymore because mm-hmm. everybody can get it online for free. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. Why not marry those two ideas? Here's Ooh. what I'm pitching. Okay. Yeah. You get like a sort of like a cock ring type attachment. You know, it's like a, it's like a jelly type ring. It's like a yeah. masturbating sleeve. Okay. Yeah. However, this one, you know, those flashlights that you can shake and charge them. Yes. Okay. It's that. Right. Okay. And so as you're jerking it, you are powering the porn that you are watching. Holy shit. You're running on a clues, you're, closed loop. You're running on a closed loop. You're generating electricity because you're, you're generating more than you need to run the video. That's okay? amazing. The thing is still free to you. It's like one of those radios that you fucking wind up. Exactly. But it's still free to you, mm. and you're you're paying for it with your electricity that you are generating the by energy. watching. Yeah, and it's the a energy. nice, it's a nice tight. It, that's as close as we're we're gonna get to perpetual motion. I think. I think perpetual so too. Energy. Because I listen, I've jerked off a lot, and if my jerk, if my jerking off can power the thing that I'm running, yep. 
then I'm never going to have to use my phone again. I can save so much battery on my phone. I can save so much clearing the browser browsing data, although I don't anymore right, right. because I'm a goddamn adult yeah. and nobody's going to go searching through my phone. So uh, I just... I just until keep it there. one day they do. I just keep until, my... until one day you lose your phone and somebody's like, hmm, whose phone is this? And then they like somehow get into it and they're just like, let's see what he was watching. But I leave all my stink. I leave all my stink out there yeah. in the open. Yeah. You know, just let it air out. It's yeah. like a it's like a bathroom door when you shit. Just open it a little bit, turn the fan on. I just what I like I'd like to do do that with my stink. Here's another little idea for you. Yeah. Okay. Sh- hit, throw it at me. Because yeah, because I've just like given you like fucking food for your brain yeah your brain hole we could yeah. do this to my brain flower we could do this for with with porn stars right because mm. porn stars they be fucking yeah okay oh living yeah. that sinful life yes you just hook one of those bad boys up to their booties or their boobies and then as they're bouncing generating power you know what you, know, you could hook that was up with to their baby their mouths too yeah yeah you could put them in, yeah, in, you in mouth. Put it anywhere yeah. okay and in a vagina? we're generating yeah. free energy with sex yes it's i agree it's just like if the sinners are gonna sin let's make it powerful i've got another idea okay it doesn't involve masturbators but it does involve masturbating in a group so group masturbation i'm I'm listening so y'all get together yeah you talk about jesus for a bit you have like the mandatory bible study bible study You, you talk about his his good good word and then you go downstairs, which is where the masturbating happens, okay. in in a safe, consensual masturbating circle. Funnily enough, I definitely did masturbate in the downstairs of our church, but... Oh, me too. Yeah. Nice um, high five. Yes! Masturbating in Jesus' basement. Yep. And that's how it should be done. Yeah. You shouldn't masturbate. You never masturbate in the pews. Oof. Oof. Masturb- masturbation is a gift for God and to God. Think of the guilt in the pew when you're ma- when you're baiting it hard. I've never baited in the pew. <sighs> no, me neither. Think I, of it. I had, it would be awful. I had a chance to bone in a pew once. Ooh. It didn't come to pass. How did you do that? That's a that's a once in a lifetime. It was a once in a lifetime. It it just like it was too risky. It, it was, was like that's very it was just risky. A slightly too risky. Yeah, and what if God is real? Because then he'll just smite you right down. Well, I don't know. I don't think I mean, well, I mean, he'd be like, yeah, get it. The, point of, the whole, whole point of this topic was that, like, it's a sin. But, like, come on. Like, come on, guys. He's, like, busy, like, fucking moving planets and shit. Like, yeah. he's, he ain't got time for that nonsense. Like, he's why, too busy ignoring our problems. You think he cares if he got a nut? Yeah. You think he cares if he got a nut? No. Fuck no, man. I think he's proud of you. He's like, oh, nice. Get he's it. Like, he's like, that was one of my better inventions is the nut. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the masturbating circle you all have like your own VR headsets, so you you don't even have to look at the people while you're masturbating. That's so much creepier. Like, that is very if creepy. It was, like, <laughs> if it was like you know, like a bunch of dudes like all like cranking down for Jesus. That's like less creepy than like a bunch of dudes all like with VR headsets what, what cranking if, like, towards each other. What's ha- what happens if like they're cranking for Jesus, but like all you hear is. <laughs> 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 Sometimes we say something and it's not funny until the second time we say it. <laughs> Thank you for Jesus. That's definitely the name of this topic. Uh, but like in the background, you hear like ding, 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 cranking for Jesus, like, cranking for Lord. So you're you're talking Got about a youth you. group, yeah? Like and it's and it's like the most like delightful music. And <laughs> they're all cranking for Jesus. They have all got their phones out <laughs> with good Christian porn. Well, okay, so Christ, what, is, what does good Christian porn look like? I think good Christian porn starts out with the two, the couple as saying, wow, that was a great marriage. We are now officially legally married. <laughs> that is a great wedding. <laughs> the, yes. The, which is what marriages are called. They are called weddings. Let us have consensual married sex now for Jesus. And, and then, they point up to the sky. And then they go, better get in the missionary. Yeah. that's the only or- se- sexually ordained position from God. I'm going to keep my bra on, but I'm going to take my underwear off because that is how we will have it, that sex. Oh, yes. We it's will, just we're the gonna most, do it. It's the most vanilla shit. It's like this stuff you remember. Actually, you know what? You could just have. Do you remember um, the movie network had the MXS after hours? Yes. yes. The show before 
You go to oh, the hard yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know, that's the, just the that's the Christian. That's just the Christian the softcore. And you see butts. Like Maybe, we're talking Baby Blue too. Yeah. Do you ever see Baby Blue too? No, I saw something about a, so, it was like a a college or something, coeds we, or something. Oh no no, where we grew up in 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 Ontario. Ontario. Uh, in our summer homes in Ontario. Yeah. Um, City TV, the network that comes out of Toronto. City too. TV. Yeah. So they used to have on Friday nights and I think on Saturday nights the Baby Blue Two movie. And it was like it was like a, a genre of movie. It was called Baby Blue Two, and it was it was just like the softest of softcore porns. Amazing. Like you saw boobies, you saw boobies, and, and you, you saw, saw like butts. gyration. Yeah, you, you didn't even see butts. You just saw like sides of hips. It was very like tastefully shot. Okay, so it was like boobies and grinding. That was like the two things you ever that's, saw. That's the Christian porn. But holy, oh holy God! That was like the best porn that oh, I could possibly. Yeah, that come was across. like Chef's Kiss. So I would. I would watch those things on like the MXS and I used to like, those would be like my prepped ones. You know, I'd get get in like 1130. I'd get it, like get my, get my, like get get comfortable. You get your hog swole. I get my, (laughs) I get comfortable. I'd fucking get out a bowl of popcorn. Like I'm like, I'm not ready to like, but you get your hogs down. You you get your hog swole. Yeah, exactly. You get your hog swole. (laughs) (laughs) Is hog swole an extra character from beauty and the beast? Yes. My name is hog (laughs) swole. I used to be a pig. Now, now I'm a boner. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the topic. <laughs> We're so stupid. Why do we do this to, uh, the, to people, to random strangers? Well, it's not they, fair. They put it on themselves as well. And I'm sorry that you've done that. Um, you can like, rate, review, subscribe to do more of it to yourself. Yep, if you want to. Yep, you can also monetarily support us by purchasing merchandise. Dave Franco's Dream Boys. Yep, or Double the Demons in our Redbubble store. The link is in the show notes. Yes, it is. Thank you to Christo Graham for the use of our theme music. Christo Graham! Christo Graham loves Jesus, too! Yeah, I mean, and Jesus loves him, I imagine. Yeah. Um, Who doesn't love Christo? It's true. Um, you Even can follow, Satan loves him. Yep, you can follow me at the Jupiter Boys. And I'm at Quinn Jupiter. Shoot those nuts. Straight down here. I just made a vibration sound of my phone gullets. I was I was completely lost. I'm glad my phone made that vibration noise. Whoop! What dolphin shark?